Welcome back all you YouTube nail mother lovers. Today I am going to be doing a Thanksgiving tribute. He's going to look like this as you see in the thumbnail. We don't have it in Australia but we're going to have some fun facts as well. Roll the intro. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to start with a base of white, two coats of white, and then we are going to cure, cure ugh, I've done it already, cure both for one minute, and then I'm going to decant some colors onto a palette. Lots of browns because we're drawing a turkey. Um, this is an hour's worth of filming, sped up to about 12 minutes, so you're welcome. You don't have to watch me and my shaky hand for an hour and a half. I am just getting into it. Uh, I'm starting with his tail and I am putting layers on. I'm keeping them wet. They're not cured, you will notice. Uh, and we will be doing something with that in a minute. But first fun fact is the first Thanksgiving took place in America in Plymouth Colony, now known as Plymouth, Massachusetts, in 1621. Well, Australia wasn't even discovered by then, so well done you, America. Back to the nail. You can see that I have put on some colour. It's all still wet because we're going to do a drag through and I am pulling that bottom brown all the way to the bottom. The reason I'm doing that is because we are going to pull through that white all the way to the bottom and it just helps the, the, the colours that you pull through, it helps it to even out on that base uh, so it doesn't go all streaky and gross. Yes, you could probably just fan it out at the end but I chose to do it this way because I wanted a brown base behind the turkey body. Anyway. So pull it down and I'm cleaning my brush in between each stroke and then just giving it another little spruce down the bottom and giving that a full cure. I am matte top coating that layer of the nail or of the drawing. Oh, a little like and subscribe break please. Here's my e-begging for the, for the video. Like and subscribe if you're into this kind of weird nail art stuff and things. So now I'm taking a different brown and I'm drawing the turkey's body. I'm taking it up as high as the bottom of those uh, feather streaks just to cover them up. And I am doing two coats of this brown. So second Fun fact of uh, Thanksgiving in America. Since 1947, the ceremony known as the National Thanksgiving Turkey Presentation has been conducted at the White House. And it means that the president pardons a turkey. Apparently all these turkeys come out and parade for the president and he gives one his life back and he doesn't have to be eaten. I think that is pretty funny. <laughs> um, so what I've done in the meantime, question. on the nail, shut up Siri. Um, what I've done on the nail in the meantime is drawn a little wing and I'm putting in some shading detail. Might not look like much at the moment, but it makes all the difference in the end. Now with this white, I am putting in the background for his head and his neck. I'm calling it a he because I think I might call him Trevor the turkey or something like that. Uh, so I'm using a, uh, a petal brush to start with and now using a detail brush to touch it up. Going around the outside and because we are 
doing this in kind of a cartoony fashion. I am varying the the heaviness of the stroke and not making it purposefully not making it look absolutely perfect. I'm not sure that I could make it look absolutely perfect even if I did try. <laughs> <laughs> not saying that uh, it's just because it's a cartoony kind of thing I'm varying the the pressure that I apply um, these facts in inverted commas are thanks to Google by the way so don't at me anyone from America who ever watches this let's face it no one will the only people who watch this are my husband and my niece so Fact number three is Macy's, which is a big department store over in America, has put on a Thanksgiving Day parade since 1924. And each year, more than 44 million people watch it on TV. That's about double the population of Australia, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, that's my husband. Bye. Okay everybody, I'm back from my husband calling me and truth be told, it is three, maybe four days later, but this will definitely be up in time for Thanksgiving. So, where were we? We were doing the outline of the turkey, um, making him look all cartoony and cool, um, and we were going through some fun facts for the Thanksgiving holiday time. I'm giving him eyeballs. Trevor the turkey has got eyeballs now and he looks like a turkey. He's got to have some eyebrows for expression. That kind of looks pretty cool. And now I'm going through with shading. Again, it doesn't look like much now, but it does make um, a difference to the overall appearance in the end. Uh, details matter, basically, when it comes to things like this. I do low lights and highlights, and I am giving him, uh, or giving his body, uh, a black outline. Uh, the next step was a flash cure and a matte top coat. Um, you might be thinking, why, 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 why are you doing all these top coats? The reason is he starts to look 3D. So you'll remember we put a matte top coat between his body and his tail. And now we've put a matte top coat between his head and neck and his body. So you've got three different layers on the nail. It's a little bit hard to see in the video but when you're looking at it in real life it's got that 3d layered effect so it's really quite cool um really quite cool to look at so what i'm going through here is just a, a lighter brown kind of more a nudie brown color and filling in his neck and head which would be his normal color that's all getting a flash cure and then i'm doing his gobble gobbles. No, I don't know the scientific word for it. I call them gobble gobbles. I've got chickens and they all have gobble gobbles. So I've left his gobble gobbles wet and I'm dropping in, or I will drop in, some brighter red, which I'm about to do there. So you can see I've just sort of dropped it in the corner and dragging it up and giving it a little moment to bleed um, and that's just a nice little detail uh, gives it some 3 d isms I guess um, now I will color in his beak and we'll be almost done the last fun fact I want to mention is that Americans eat a ton of turkey apparently or according to the National Turkey Federation in America. Over 95% of Americans eat turkey on Thanksgiving and around 280 million turkeys are sold leading up to Thanksgiving. 280 million. That is beyond 
anything you could ever imagine in this country. Um, so back to the nail. You'll see that I'm now giving him some highlights um, around the neck, the wings, the beak, um, the thing, just sort of saying that he's got um, shadow coming from one direction. So this is him all finished. He looks great. And I have matte top coated him. Oh, look at that tricky editing. Zooming right in so that you can see. Oh, hello Trevor. You're a funny looking dude. Um, yes, yeah, so this is an extreme close up. Um, and it just shows the detail that I was able to achieve, giving him a little wing, the 3D effect of the shading um, and the highlights and the lowlights that I gave him. So I matte top coated him and then I thought, oh, I want to see what he looks all shiny. And he looks so just a bit more bright and vibrant shiny, but it's hard to see on the camera because of the the light basically but he looks he just came to life with a bit of a shiny top coat but tell me in the comments do you prefer him matte or shiny thank you very much for joining me all the way to the end please like and subscribe to my channel and you will see a lot more cool stuff coming up and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.